Okay, part two of my collection video. Uh, I forgot to mention that this was also included in my previous order. So, yeah. Uh, talked about that one. Okay, this one is my Wenger uh, 10. Uh, this is a crappy story. Uh, I ordered the S10, uh, which has the locking blade, the clip point, the uh, secondary blade, and they sold me their uh, just a regular one. And uh, uh, the S10 is worth a lot more, so <sighs> it's kind of crappy. But oh. uh, this is my uh, Sack Classic uh, with the uh, uh, small blade, uh, nail file, and scissors. And by the way, as you can see, this one has the contour handle. It's still a nice knife, it's just that I didn't like paying that much for it. Uh, this is my uh, Victorinox Climber with the blade, small blade, scissors, and the other good stuff. Put a lanyard on it, which I made myself. My Victorinox Secretary, one small uh, a blade and a, a big and a regular size one. Very nice. My Uncle Henry, which is a very, very nice knife. Because with this sheath. And this one is probably my most expensive knife, or not probably this, it's, for, it's worth uh, about 400 plus. It comes with this nice box. I didn't buy this, I actually got it from my father. He got it from his work, it's the etched in there uh, where, he work, where he works at. And it comes with this nice box and here's the lid. So, I really like that one. And this is my Hella knives. Hala is a Norwegian company. The factory is, was, uh, or it is still uh, located at uh, next where my uh, great grandmother used to uh, live. She don't live there anymore, but uh, when we went to visit her, often I would uh, walk over there and check out their knives because they are beautiful. This one I also got my, for my father. This it has been out of production for a long time. It's called, I think it's Fueling. I think it's Fueling. It has a kind of uh, different type sheath. This is my Haladoka uh, folding knife. Very, very nice. I believe that this one is the only folding knife offered from Hala. I can't close it because it's really a two handed uh, knife. I put my initials on this side. I can't see it. Ah, there we go. But I won't be able to open it, will I? Maybe. Okay, this is a waste of time. Much easier. <laughs> Comes with this sheath. Very nice. Uh, this one uh, was a failed production. They tried to make it, but it won't come uh, out in stores, I've uh, heard. They told me uh, when I bought it. This is my Halle Fjallkniven. This is probably my favorite knife of all times. It's just so comfortable. Uh, great size, great blade. Comes with this beautiful sheath with this eagle in it. My Halligete. Very comfortable knife. It's kind of like uh, uh, the Jägermeister from Halle. Here's the sheath for that. This is my very first scout knife, and it actually broke off because I. Yeah, you know how kids are. <laughs> so my dad glued it on me, glued it on me, <laughs> glued it on for me, very nice, here's the sheath, and this is also a scout knife, and this one does not have the protective plastic inside the sheath, so at one point I was going to put it in the sheath, and it came out from right about here and got it in my hand, so we are not very good friends, or we are blood brothers. <laughs> And this is also a hell knife. This is called the Scout. These are Scouts. This is the Scout. This is the real deal. Yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> and my sheath. My hella Symphony. This is real bone and very classy knife. And on the sheath, you can see this is supposed to be a campfire. You can't make it out. And then, 
one day my uh, grandma come, came over with this, uh, this box and in, inside that we have this. This is the Halle Nuying. Very, very nice knife. Very comfortable. Nice sheath. There we have my Opno. Which I have to fix because it's super hard to open when once it's closed. I tried to wax it with my tough cly, but I got a real good uh, suggestion in the internet to kind of file down the mechanics area. Maybe I'll try that one day, but it's still a real nice knife, very right? collectible. Uh, my Leatherman kick with sheath. My Leatherman, I think it's E55. Yeah, E55. Lock back 154 cm on the back if you turn it upside down or carb carbine clip. Very nice. And this one was also included in my order. This is a Buck Kalinka Pro. Been out of production for uh, some time now, but I was able to purchase one. And this, guys, if any of you out there have seen it, hold it. It's just so beautiful. Look at that. Ah. But it's very beautiful. It comes with this beautiful, beautiful sheath. Very, very. I love this knife. Then we have my Buck uh, 119 Special. This is, I think, uh, Buck's most sold uh, knife. Most uh, fixed blade, that is. Because. And this is the sheath. Because the most sold folder is of course the Buck 110. I love this knife. And this one, this version has the finger grooves. Which is very nice. And these knives are more for a display. This is one my brother got for me when he was on vacation. In, uh, I don't remember exactly. What's cool, I got uh, uh, before he uh, uh, traveled to this country which I can't uh, remember. I had bought a picture of a tiger. When he came home, he had got me this one, and it's a dragon. And all, of course, everybody knows the connection between dragons and uh, tigers. Here's another uh, dragon knife, which I got a long time ago. Here's my sword. Uh, this is not a, like a cold steel sword. A sword. Uh, I got this in uh, five, six years ago. Oh, I have to be more than that. And this is a knife that comes with this set. It also comes with like a replica pirate gun, but I don't have that here. It has an etching of lions, but you can see it's gone off a little bit. And on the sheath, it's got some samurais. Just for display purposes, of course, but it is pretty nice. This is a fruit knife stand, which I got from my great-grandmother. They're all from uh, bone, so they are all individual. Very, very nice. And then we have this. More display knives. This is a bear. The lid is that monster. <laughs> uh, Carly Lover also had this. Uh, he has a gold dragon, I believe. I have an eagle. Just massive knives. And this one is... Uh, uh, I got it from a friend of my father. Well, it's my friend too, but... Piece of junk, actually, but... It was given to me. This small knife with a ball opener and small knife. These two knives, which are really a piece of crap and not good at all. This one I got. Uh, I don't remember exactly the date, but it's a long time ago. That's the only sheet. I don't know why I'm showing you that. This is the knife. This Norway flag and some elk on it or moose. So. I actually thought it would take a lot longer time, but that it didn't take too long. So this is my collection. I have to say I'm uh, really liking these knives. If there was any knife I would really want, ah, there's many I really want. Uh, now I'm just babbling. I don't know why I just don't turn off. Okay, I'll do that. But thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, take care.